HOSA is a club that we have at the school for students that are interested in the health profession. Students start off in either principles of health or health science, and then they work up to being able to take the certified nursing program. To have a certified nursing assistant program certificate in high school makes them more competitive to be able to get into nursing school, to be able to get into medical school. Texas allows us to incorporate different dementia modules. The plaques and tangles slowly destroy the hippocampus, and it becomes harder and harder to form new memories. Dementia 101 is meant to take away a little bit of that fear of communication and give you some strategies that you can use to make it a little easier. The idea is that when you go in there, you ask him, how can I help you? Okay. Developing the ability to socialize is the most crucial part of being a healthcare worker, especially the dementia training. You're not focusing on the CNA stuff, you're just focusing on communicating with them. Hey, Mr. Jones, my name is Alicia. I'm gonna be your CNA today. Is there anything you need? When we start talking about therapeutic measures, music and memory is another way that you can individually help people with dementia and Alzheimer's. The music actually changes the way the brain behaves, and so it will be easier for you to be able to have a conversation with someone that has difficulty. The five steps made it very easy to teach music and memory because it's an outline of exactly what to expect. The music and memory program is a practical opportunity for the certified nursing assistant students to do what they've learned in the classroom by actually going out there in the real world. It was very heartwarming to see how excited they were to do the training. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get going. When we first went there, Mr. Brooks showed us around what to do. I was actually a little bit nervous. I didn't know what to expect exactly. If you don't like something, just let me know. It's neat to see how the students at first are a little intimidated and timid. And gradually you see them in this aha moment where it's like, oh, this is fantastic. Finding personalized music with my resident was a really cool opportunity. My resident sings along to the music. Dream my little dream of me. HOSA and Music and Memory have definitely helped me with the social aspect of the healthcare field. Do you recognize this one? Pure Lees. Yeah. No, I remember now that you tell me, Fiora Lees. Mm -hmm. I, I once knew it and loved it. Oh, did you play the I used the to piano? know it by heart. Fiora really? Lees. Wow. I think it was the only song I knew on the piano all the mm. way through. Wow. That part was hard for me. <laughs> when she heard those names, she started getting kind of happy because the song brought back a memory from when she was younger. I lived in a house full of musicians. Oh. Well, every member of my family played a musical instrument of some sort. Mm. You like the instruments playing in it? Definitely. Getting a one-on-one -on -one interaction with our resident, it really made a difference when you could see the reaction. Boy. Is that it? It almost began more of a friendship. Everybody in the community benefits from music. It's invaluable. It's invaluable to the resident. It's invaluable to the students. Without a love of my own. It's a huge win-win. That's good. <laughs> HOSIB and the Music Memory Program and working with elderly residents will help bring in more people to be interested in the profession. Music and Memory has definitely drawn my interest into more of a uh, geriatric field when you see the sort of impact you can have in their lives. To put students in the medical field, Music and Memory lends itself perfectly. It, it allows us to be able to use that passion for working with people with an actual hands-on experience with someone else and to be able to help them.